guys. Um, end of day five, and I'm still alive, and I'm still going. Um, today was really good. I managed to um, stick within my calories. I just finished doing a 30-minute run, which was awesome. Um, well, it wasn't really awesome, I'll be really honest with you. Um, my friend actually suggested that I do like an interval run rather than, you know, um, a normal one because it's supposed to burn more calories. But then I realized that it's probably because it's more time than just 15 minutes. But um, I decided, okay, you know, I have to do something different if I want to change. So um, I decided to go ahead with it. And by the time I got to like 15 minutes, I got a huge stitch in my side. And my mind was like telling me, okay, stop, you know. If you want to exercise tomorrow, you better stop right now. And um, I don't know, I just kept pushing myself and I kept, um, I used a strategy that a friend of mine used um, when we used to work out before. And she would like call out random food, food names like burgers and pizza and think of all the bad things that she ate during the week or, or, or you know, just food that she was thinking about. And that kind of like motivated us to keep running. So I tried that and um, it, it kind of helped for a time but then my mind sort of kept wondering and I was thinking oh my god um, you know what if there was a zombie apocalypse and you know all the fat people die first in these kind of things and the people who, who can't really run you know get eaten by the zombies so I that motivated me to keep running and um, then I started thinking about lost and I was like oh but he survived and he was fine anyways um, I had like two minutes left on my run and there was somebody that came to the door and I had to stop, which was like, you know, this whole accomplishment of mine just like went up in smokes. But, um, and I couldn't get my picture for Instagram, but then I thought like, that's a huge wake, wake up call for me because then I realized like, am I doing it to post a picture on Instagram or am I doing it for myself? And I guess it's, um, it's also something that maybe you would go through if you're going through a challenge and you're thinking like, oh, no, I'll just eat this chocolate. I'll just do this. I'll just do that. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> I think it's a good reminder to keep reminding yourself that, you know, you're doing this for you. You're doing this for your health. You're doing this for your present and your future. You're doing this because you're sick and tired of all the years that you've spent wanting to lose weight and never did. You're doing this because you just don't want to take, don't want to make any more excuses, you know, that's the main thing. We're sick and tired of what we used to be and now we're going to change and be something new. So let's keep going guys and um, I know that a lot of you are getting inspired by my meals on Instagram but I want to see what you guys are eating as well. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be as fancy as mine is because I sort of like become really obsessive with these things but I really want to see what you guys are eating and the kind of exercises you're doing so please 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 use the hashtag which is on the right hand corner whatever um and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow bye